As a kid, I always enjoyed decorating my belongings with my favorite stickers and tickles. And I found it very fun sort of thing inside Substance Painter as well. So let's have some fun and learn how we can apply stickers and decals to our meshes inside Substance Painter in lesson number 22. Oh my god, this is so fun. Now it's my turn. <laughs> So in lesson 22, we will see how we can uh, apply some stickers or any kind of textures to our uh, like models inside, three, uh, inside the Substance Painter. So uh, if you remember, we have imported all these stickers with their alphas inside the Substance Painter. So let's apply one of, uh, all of them one by one. So what I did is that I just made a regular layer and call it sticker. So you can make a new layer and from here, regular layer and call it stickers. And then I just, uh, I can go to my shelf here, take a basic brush, okay? And I will have my brush over here reset it, okay? Now what I will do is that I will go to my project and start with the Nirvana sticker first. So first of all, I have to go down and I will take this Nirvana sticker and drop it in the base color. You can see it is here. And then I will go in the alpha and in the alpha, I will drop the Nirvana sticker alpha. Okay. So that means if I will go here somewhere, okay, let me do one thing. Press shift, right click on your screen and move the light here so you can at least see what's going on. So I will go to this part a little bit. And then if I will stamp it here, you can see the sticker is here created. So Nirvana sticker is a little smaller. So I think uh, we can, we can uh, have a small sticker here, not a big sticker. So let me undo this. The reason I have uh, used this undo so that I can go and click here on the height. So I can increase a little bit height, like maybe 0.1. So that it will be, uh, let me make it a little bigger just to show you around. So if I will click here, you can see there is a height, okay? But I think this height is too much. So maybe let's uh, make this 0 0.01, okay? Uh, 0 0.01 is I think fine. Or let's make it 0 0.05. Let's see how it's 0.05. Uh, not too much. So 0 0.03. Mm, no, 0 0.02. Okay, let's let's check 0 0.02. I think 0 0.02 is good. So I will uh, make it smaller again. Okay, and I will click here, and I can make this. If I want the sticker to be a little glossy, so what I can do, I can go to the roughness here, and I can increase. Uh, I can decrease the glossiness from here, and I can click somewhere here. And it will be a little glossy. So that's I can do. So now my one sticker is ready about the uh, what you call what is this? Uh, Nirvana. Okay. Now I will create another sticker, Atari. So I will take Atari, put it in the uh, base color, and I will take its alpha, put it in the alpha. Okay, now if I will go here, you can see how the alpha is uh, here. So if I click, it will be like this. Okay, but you can rotate it with the, uh, with the help of control key on your keyboard or if you're using Mac or send then command key on your keyboard and with the left mouse button, you can rotate your sticker. So I will rotate a little bit and I will try to put this somewhere here. Now you can see a great Atari sticker. Okay. Now that's fine. Now what I will do here is that that's Captain America. So I will take this Captain America and if you will see over here, uh, Captain America uh, is kind of, let me make it larger. It is not like a regular sticker. It's like a circular, then there is a white patch over here. Because if you will look, it's uh, uh, like a, what do you call it? the uh, alpha, which is loading right now. The, uh, it looks kind of like it, like there is a, patch off let me uh, yeah you can see that there is a little bit cut over here so it looks like it's been torn so that's why i kept this white color here so uh, it will overlap and it will give an effect of a torn sticker so i will take the captain america here 
okay and take its alpha and put it here now uh i can little bit rotate it i don't want to make it look obvious okay somewhere size i think is fine somewhere here now you can see that it looks like it has been torn so that's what uh, that's what an effect i was looking for okay that you can do it with a paintbrush inside uh, inside photoshop these all i created in photoshop okay now the time is to go on the other side i think this is enough for this side now i will take my yankees crop in the base color take the alpha drop it here and then a little bit bigger uh, and i will drop it here okay so that's that's good okay let me do one thing let me press shift key uh, on my keyboard and bring the light here so i can see things going clearly okay now i'm done with the yankees how many are left yeah that's quite good number so i will take nintendo okay drop it here on the base color and then it's uh alpha will drop it here now i can make it a little smaller and paste it here but you can see that because nintendo is getting a little bit distorted because of uh it's not uh like a square okay so what i will do is that i will just ignore the nintendo so sorry nintendo we cannot use you so you have to make sure when you're making there should be an extra space like it should be square it should not be flat or something like this okay so that's what's uh, like that's the reason it was not uh, it wasn't correct now i will take my la gear and then i will put this la gear alpha map here so i will increase the size of it oops what i did and then control rotate it okay and then maybe somewhere here okay that's good that's cool that's cool okay now what i will do here is that i will take my punisher logo apply here in the base color it's alpha apply here okay and a little bit here down closer so to get a little random okay now i have punisher here so some here some here now one more thing i can do here is the top i can add some on the top i will take my mtv logo here and it's uh, alpha you can see the alpha is a little bit grayish why because i want a transparent sticker so i will go to alpha here and then i will rotate it you can see mtv logo is going on the other side yeah, just like this so i will increase it a little bit not too much i will try to put it here so that's you can see a little bit transparent like a uh, dusty or you're gonna fade it sticker i will take this one pill basically this pill is from the anime uh akira which is my favorite anime and then rotate a bit like nintendo this is also you can see uh kind of uh, distorted so i will put this one a little bit here so that you know it can cover the front part of this uh, tv okay like this kind of looks, looks cool okay oh i think it's covering too much so let me move back a little bit now let me rotate this one just like this now i can do that now it looks good okay now after that i have here metallica or take metallica drop in the base color it's uh you can see also it have also some variation of transparency like gray and the white so i want uh you know half transparent you know those kind of stickers which are, are half transparent and then some part are transparent and some part are not transparent that kind of thing so i will take this uh, metallica i already dropped it here okay and then i will take this one and drop it in the alpha and now i have this metallica thing and i will try to put somewhere here okay 
uh, what else is left I think this is the last one so I will drop this one here bike one we will put on the other side now I have this Metallica on the top okay and this one this bike I can take put it here in the base and I will put its alpha on the alpha and then a little bit rotate and I will put it here somewhere okay so I have this all the stickers here there is one uh, space left over here so what we can what we can do here is that we can have two stickers at the same time uh, let me add two uh, Captain America stickers so I will drag this one here and one here I will rotate a bit okay and a little bit I want to uh, you know bend it down like wrapping so this is this is good okay so that's all this is how we can add some stickers over here and uh, I hope you have enjoyed putting stickers okay on your uh, television okay when you were a kid I mean uh, so maybe this is kind of if you are 90s kid maybe this tutorial is a little bit nostalgic how to put stickers on your uh, like you know television sets and all those things so uh, I hope uh, you like this tutorial if you have liked this tutorial please please uh, don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon and watch all my tutorials and uh, once you will watch all the substance painter essential uh, series tutorials you will uh, you will be getting a lot of for uh, you know uh, info and you will be perfectly working inside substance painter it's i made it so in a detailed way in a way that you can uh, you know uh, can enjoy and you can do a lot of things uh, while working here okay so uh, next class we will move to the other part and then uh, till then please uh, take care of yourself keep supporting me and see you next time